nationalist politics that so many countries are engaged in at the moment means they just can't lift their eyes to the horizons of these shared global problems that we need to address. And bravo to President Macron for getting us all here to Paris to try and get that bigger picture in place. Yeah. Uh, do you think it, it could be seen as some, as, as sort of a, a soft power move almost by Emmanuel Macron to, to kind of steady his hand uh, um, and, and seen as, as a sort of de facto leader for, for Europe and, and perhaps even parts of the world? Well, um, there's a definite, both a soft power play, if you like, because that's what development assistance and support to economies of developing countries to grow is. It's soft power. And it's also, you're right, a public relations play to some extent. It is establishing or seeking to establish President Macron's global leadership, if you like. On the other hand, I don't think it's that popular in France. You know, uh, when a leader's numbers are as bad as President Macron's are at the moment, there's some risk in assembly, you know, bring, bringing the world's talking shop uh, to Paris with the traffic and the rest. Uh, and so, you know, I, I think there's some risk in this for him as well. Mm. You, you bring around the, ch the likes of China. I mean, the Chinese prime minister is said to be here as well. Mohammed bin Salman is expected to also be here. Those, those sort of names are quite critical to the discourse in the world right now as well, in the economic sphere. Does that, does that add not only credence to this conversation, but really uh, a, a little bit more, more, more substance, perhaps, to the conversations that could happen and a more collaborative effort? Look, I, I think it's an important expansion of the conversation because, for example, China is a key previous outsider on the debt talks and it's been really critical that the old Paris club, which was the forum of, 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 of creditors, uh, has now been considerably displaced by a new grouping uh, where the G20, the IMF and the World Bank have called together a much wider group of countries, including China. So getting them at the table at this conference and more broadly around debt and growth is, is absolutely critical. 